Bottas on the left, the white boots. Former French light middleweight champion. He's made two attempts to win the French middleweight title against the same man both times, Jacques Chinon. And he's lost both times. And the last occasion was uh, last year when he had to retire after five rounds with a cut eye against Chinon. And I do have the feeling that uh, a cut eye might well be the turning point of his fight here with Kalor. He looks very vulnerable around the eyes. Both uh, brows are scarred. The flesh is puffy and he's got all the appearance of a man who's suffered a lot with facial injuries. Mark coming up on the bridge of the Frenchman's nose. in trouble in the second. Taylor sees his chance of a quick finish. Seems to steady himself up a little bit, Taylor. Good right again from Taylor. Bonitas blows and holds. And he blows again and gasps for breath. And he's still blowing. Right, stand back, right back, stand back. Taylor's best punch here is when he just moves off a little bit and then measures him with that right hand and brings it up, short and quick to the head. Uh, and Bonitas shakes his head and has another blow, and he's been through it there, but he's come through it well. Uh, that was a hard round for the Frenchman. He's 30 years old, remember, and he's been on the, the down slope, as it were, of his career now for two or three years, and uh, I think each fight's getting increasingly hard for him, and this one isn't gonna be one of the easy ones. Take it down. Round three. Well, Kalor might now feel that uh, his man's in a position to be finished. And I do honestly think that if Kalor just steadies himself up and measures his man with uh, good rights, he could get this over quite quickly. Bonitas has got a cup now over the right eye. So these old injuries, as I suspected, have opened up. And I wonder whether Kaylor can finish this faster than Morris Hope did in 1977, when Bonitaz was a much better fighter than he is today. He's bleeding the Frenchman by the side of the right eye. puts his head, Kalor manages to find it. And that's a nasty looking cut now, and it's uh, opening up rather more now. At the corner first, and now I think opening up along the eyelid. And it's in a very awkward place for him, he's already beginning to have to pour the blood away with his fist. Taylor determined to finish this somehow. About 20 seconds of this round left. You can see the injury yourself. The blood at the moment running more down the side of the face than into the eye. 
That might be the one thing that would allow him to come out for another round. No great sign of urgency in the Frenchman's corner. Jean Bretonnel, his manager, outside the ring, wearing the glasses, using the swab stick, Roger Colson, Bonitas, his English agent, facing him. And the referee, Larry O'Connell, ex-fighter, of course, coming over to have a look at that injury. Jean Bretonnel, the French manager, one of the most experienced managers in the European fight game. And Larry, I think, has seen enough he doesn't want it to go on, and he's in fact insisting that it's stopped, and it is stopped. And so Kaylor from West Ham, still not 21, marks up his 14th consecutive professional win, and in fact beats Bonitas a little faster than Morris Hope did My Lords, ladies and gentlemen, four and a half years ago. The referee stopped the contest at the end of round three. Bonitas has a badly cut right eyebrow. Kaylor! Come